the lactose intolerant vegetarian gay cowboy. I am so excited to be here at Luminaria 2011. We got all sorts of drug bitches in the house. <laughs> oh, they're all so nice and they're dressed like whores. You know, whores are just like horses. Yeah, you are. You know, whores are just like horses. They both like to get ridden. I don't get this modern art. Just exactly what is that that you're speaking into there? Well, I guess not, I'm speaking into now. It's a rabbit's foot. A rabbit's foot. Want to touch it? Uh, no, that's all right. I guess uh, that's a Texas rabbit's foot. It is. Yeah, like I to say, everything bigger in Texas. Huh? <laughs> Only in the big city. What's your name, sir? Bill Fitzgibbons. Bill Fitzgibbons. I just love that name. It makes me want to wrap Christmas presents or something. Can you tell me a little bit about what your role in Luminaria has been? Well, fortunately this year, I am just a viewer. You're a lot artist. How is that different from working with paint? Well, they're both mediums, one, and they both deal with light. So light is, a, uh, is, is something that uh, causes life to exist, and it's something that extends out into the environment. It sure does. And as far as my waistline, it's not a medium, it's a large. Now, what are you going to do tonight? We're going to have an ice fight here in about an hour and a half. An ice fight? Yes, ice fight. I'm not into that. <laughs> Good. Can you explain? <laughs> How y'all doing? Good. How y'all not? I'm great. How y'all? Fine. And I thought I was the gayest thing in the room. <laughs> now, what brings y'all out to Luminaria? Well, this is the first year that we haven't been working Luminaria. And in the past, what did you do? Uh, we do the steamroller prints. Now, when you steamroll, what does that mean? Well, it's making art with heavy equipment. You're a shy one, aren't you? Yes, I am. Get your head up there so we can see you. There you go. Ain't that a smile that can launch a thousand ships? I love that. So now, steamroll, is that working with paint? No, that's working with ink and archival paper. We're doing fine art woodcuts and printing them using a steamroller instead of a press. And it's a very public uh, kind of performance art event. Wow. We do it, uh, we've been doing it for about five years now here in San Antonio. Are you aware that they invented online gay porn? Because it makes life a whole lot easier. No, not at all. The art is just everywhere. Hi there. I am here with one of the performers from Luminaria 2011, Melissa Marla. Melissa, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. And I see we have a special visitor behind us. Who is this? This is my daughter, Paulina. Hi, Paulina. How are you? Good. Your hair is pretty. Thank you. I wish I had hair like that. <laughs> anyway, so tell me about your performance tonight. Well, I performed in this house a piece that I wrote called My House Still Stands about my ancestors and my family. And, and what was that about, the ancestor? What was the story about? Well, it was just about how ancestors shape our lives and they're always part of us. They make us who we are. That's for sure, because I've been country since I don't know when. <laughs> Hi there! This is Enos's Blue Period. Now, what kind of performances did you behold today? We saw some of the dance performances, we saw the Irish dancers, and we saw some adorable little children dancing, some folkloric dancing. Oh, that's just wonderful. Makes me want to go see some strippers tonight. <laughs> and what's your name, sir? Daryl. And where are you from? Welfare. Welfare? <laughs> well, I'm Mexican. I know all about that. Now, why did y'all come to Luminaria? Because we saw you in the paper. 
<laughs> and I was really interested with a gay vegan cowboy. I am a gay vegan cowboy. That is that is very true. Well, that's so nice. But cute too. Oh, you're so sweet. I'll give you my number later. Okay. This is Enos P. Degollado. I'm here with Veronica Hernandez, a big part of Luminari over the past few years. How you doing? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing great. It's so exciting and it's just wall to wall people here. So many people enjoying the arts. What should I see before the night ends? Well, why don't you, have you gone over to the digital, that digital media installation that's over there on the side of the wall where you can get in front of a camera and then it reflects your, your image on the wall in all kinds of crazy ways? Have you done it? I have not done that and that sounds really interesting. I, I gotta ask you. That. I think I will. I think, oh, you're more excited than I am. Oh, hell. <laughs> on a serious note, we are exposing San Antonio. I say we like I did it all by myself and she kind of helped, but the Luminaria staff has has just exposed San Antonio to so many different kinds of arts at the same time. What do you have to say about that? That's a huge ambition. I believe it's it's like right now the way the footprint set out here at Hemisphere, it's like bringing Hemisphere 1969 back. It's a very it, it's it's alive. It brings the city back to life, and it and it also educates people which is a very big a big deal here for the community it's for free and they need it they need, we can expose them as we can expose the artists to the and i love being exposed i like to be exposed too i heard <laughs> i am standing right in front of two very interesting artists what's your name oscar hey oscar now what are you wearing <laughs> tell me later how about you hi i'm wearing my Ill illuminated costume we're from San Antonio College. This was an assignment that we made with a project, and now we're wearing it for Luminaria. I love that mustache. Why, thank you. It looks like that odd odd job from James Bond or something. <laughs> Is it odd job or hand job? I forget. <laughs> anyway, so what have you you guys seen since you've been here? Um, a bunch of a little bit of art. <laughs> Lots of fun Lots of stuff. Lots of food at San Antonio. It's San Antonio. You got to do the food. You've had some tacos, I'm sure. No. Now, what have you seen that you like so far? Uh, I like there's a lot of people, a lot of public out, you know, for this, and it seems like that's that's a good deal, especially for the third year. I'd like to see some more art and stuff, you know, but you know, it's cool you don't that. see enough in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> and what have you seen that you like? Oh, I love everything that's illuminated. I love everything that's lit by fire. It's very pretty. Lock your hair. Yes. How <laughs> you stop? And who are you wearing tonight? devil this guy must get a lot of tail <laughs> now what are you dressed as I don't know where it goes my and I've never said that before <laughs> my pache man my pache man now, now what do you represent I'm the beast of San Antonio tourism. <laughs> That's funny. That sounds like the last guy I dated. <laughs> now, uh, did you have like an artistic performance or something? Yes, I'm a performance artist. Awesome. Well, I'm a street performer too. Well, I guess I can't really say that because I'm just too cheap to get a hotel room. <laughs> that we should think ourselves so sophisticated and advanced when we are merely animals danger that we must save. No, religion cannot save you. It cannot give you the ticket of eternity to heaven, for heaven and hell is in the mind. So now, where are you from? I'm originally from Orlando, Florida. Orlando, Florida is known for lots of fun stuff. How does San Antonio compare as far as arts go? Well, um, in Orlando, we don't have anything like a luminar luminaria there. Yeah. So we just have less the art museum. So that's the big difference. They have 
it's so exciting here because yeah. they have so much for the art for yeah. the arts here. I heard that in San Antonio they have more artistic programs than Mexicans. Really? I'm just kidding. We got way more Mexicans. <laughs> Now, tell me, what were y'all doing here at Luminaria Dress So Pretty? We are dancing. Folklorico. Oh, Folklorico. Now, what is Folklorico for people who don't know what that is? Regional dancers from the country of Mexico, and this is from the state of Veracruz. Veracruz, that sounds delicious. Now, now, how long have you been dancing? 30 years. Yeah. 30 years? Oh, you are 30 years. Look at that. Y'all got fans. And how long have you been dancing? About 29. 29, oh, she got you beat. You guys are beautiful, and I love those fans. I'm from the country, too. Hi there, y'all. We're here at the Luminaria Art Installation where we're seeing all sorts of fun art and really handsome guys. How y'all doing? Good, good, love what, it. What's your name? Robert. Hi, Robert. How you doing? And what's your name? I'm David. Hi, David. How are you doing? I'm good. Now, what have you seen that really struck you as amazing here tonight? Um, a lot. A lot of people, a lot of art, a lot of food. I see you food. have a stain on your shirt. Souvenir. Very <laughs> typical of San Antonio women. Now, what have you seen that really struck you as amazing? I've seen ice and lights. You saw the ice? I did. And what was that like? Cold. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. And what would, what would you like to see next year? Um, more parking. <laughs> more parking. That's a darn good idea. Three miles away, but it was worth it. It was worth Oh, it. you got the VIP parking, I see. Princess parking. <laughs> exactly. Now, you know what would be really great? If they had comedians at Luminaria. <laughs> yeah, like a stage just for them. Definitely. Exactly. Now, are you into comedy? Uh, definitely, yeah. Tell me a joke. No. <laughs> I'm here still in the art installation because there's so much to see, but I saw my friend Valeria. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing great, especially now that I saw you. Now, you were telling me that you saw Mayor, uh, former Mayor Hardberger and Linda Hardberger, his wife, who really worked hard to make all Luminatia come true. Yes. Tell me about that. That sounds fascinating. Well, we had just finished the spoken words um, exhibit, so we were walking down and we saw him and we got so excited. We actually, I feel like we kind of stalked him. We hunted him <laughs> down and we stopped him and we said, are you Mayor Phil Hardberger? And he said, as a matter of fact, I am. <laughs> of course he did. Of course he did. I was so excited. You know, we just said thank you. We, we thanked him for everything that he has done for um, Illuminaria. He, it was basically him and his wife's brainchild. Uh huh, it's their baby. Mm -hmm. It's their baby, exactly. A Mexican and a Puerto Rican walk into a bar and they asked the bartender, how many sh shots does it get to take a comic home? I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't remember. <laughs> In its fourth year, Luminaria is a huge success thanks to Julian Castro, our mayor, the artistic community, and people like you. I don't know what you're talking about. 